Hey there, happy Thursday. I hope your day is off to a great start. Today we have some seller education and I'm just gonna get right down to it. About two days ago, CNBC came out with a new article talking about a crashing market in Southern California. And it's interesting because Southern California is one of the largest markets across the country. And it's kind of a predictor about what's going to happen across the country. So it's something that we need to take notice to. So what it basically said is, and I'm gonna read my note here, new and existing homes and condos are down almost 12% year over year, even though we have prices skyrocketing as well. So what does that tell you? Well, you know, if that's a predictor, we need to pay attention to that here in the Richmond market. Now, before we go any further, those that are remembering 2007, eight, nine, the sky is not falling. I don't think we're going to be having a crash. I'm not an economist, but this is my opinion because we don't have robo signings anymore. So when 2007, eight, nine took place, uh, lenders and banks, they put precautions in place. So it's no longer you get a house and you get a house even if you can't afford it and we're not even gonna verify your income. I can tell you lending is still um, stricter than it was in 2007, eight, nine. So we're not having the skies falling because we're not having robo signings. But what was happening, I would say in 2013, 14, 15, 16, and the beginning of 17, we were having like prices just go up and up and up and multiple offers and it was hard to get a house. We are now starting to see that pull back a little bit. And some of the reason for that could be rates are a little bit higher and buyers that were trying to buy back in the spring, they kept getting bid out and a lot of them had to go rent. And affordability, prices just kept going higher and higher and higher because when you have a lack of inventory, supply and demand, right? The prices were going higher. So I think what we have now is a lot of uh, buyers are just like, no, rates are too high, the prices have gone too high, I've already rented another year, I'm gonna sit this one out. So we're starting to see a more balanced market. So the sky isn't falling, it's not like we're having a crash. What we're not having though as much, in, and in certain price points we, we do still see multiple offers and prices going a little higher, as a whole though, we are starting to see a slowdown. Now that's difficult for the sellers right now that are selling because they are in the middle of a shift, right? It's easy to know when you're at the height because things just keep going and going and going and you know when you're at the bottom, but when you're in the middle of a shift, you have to kind of keep your pulse on pricing. And what that means is if you are on the market right now and your house isn't selling, we need to have a price adjustment, right? Because what's going to over, ever, overcome everything? It's everything comes down to price, condition, and location. If you're in a bad location, what overcomes that price? If you have bad condition, what overcomes that price? And if your price is too high, what's gonna overcome that price? So you're going to have to start shifting. And a lot of agents, and I did this for a little while, and I stopped, if anybody have noticed, it's our fault because we trained you, trained you to think like, oh, everything's going in a day because you see agents putting, went for multiple offers in a day and went $10,000, $20,000 over asking. So that's on the agents, right? That's on us for having trained you to think that because now I'm meeting with sellers and they're like, well, this is such a hard market. Things are going in a day. They were going in a day and now we're starting to see a more balanced market. I can give you statistics from a month or two because that's what our um, MLS has, right? But that's rear view mirror. We need to be looking at present day. So that really means that you have to rely on the expertise of an agent and because we're out there every day showing houses, talking to buyers, we have the pulse on what the market is doing. So when we meet with you at a listing appointment and we tell you, Guys, it's shifting, you need to believe us because we're trying to set you up for success. Listen, when you make more money, we make more money. So there's nothing I love more than to tell you, oh yes, we're in a hot market, you should sell high. But as we're going through this shift, you need to adjust accordingly. So rely on us and our, ex, uh, our expertise. 
Now here's the strategy that we're implementing right now. When we meet with you for a listing appointment, we give you brackets for pricing. So we might say, yeah, we think it's gonna sell somewhere between 460 and 480. Now in the spring, when it was a hot, hot, hot market, the strategy was price at the high end of that bracket, right? Because everything's going so fast and there's no inventory and whatever. In a shifting market, you need to price at the lower end of that bracket. We can't price a house too low. If it's too low, it will get bid up. You will get that multiple offer, and that's a great situation. However, we can definitely price it too high, and you'll end up sitting. Now, every now and again, in the middle of a shifting market, it's hard for agents, too, because we have to, we're not sure where we are in the shift, right? Like, are we almost to the bottom, or are we just starting? I feel like we're just starting in that shift, and again, by shift, if you're just joining, I don't mean a bottom, I mean a more balanced market. And that balanced market is, you know, usually around a six month supply. Even though we still have low inventory, we have buyers saying, hold up, you know, we're not moving forward. Rates are high and whatever. So you could go back, listen to the video. So our strategy is to price at the low end. Now, if you came to us or with your other agent right before, like we knew it was shifting, you might be just outside the target. So you're going to need a price reduction. And I will tell you, usually, depending on the price of the house, but usually, $5,000 isn't going to do it. You need a good price reduction. 10, 15, $20,000 to get ahead of it because you don't want to be chasing down the market, which means pricing too high, not making the correction when needed, and then actually netting less than what you should have had you priced your house to begin with properly from the beginning. And again, in the middle of a shift, it can be kind of hard to price, but you have to listen to your agents. It is not fun for us to come to a seller and say, we gotta talk about price. We need a price reduction. That it's not good for us. We don't we don't like saying it to you. You don't like hearing it. And it's for the best. You know, why do we why do we put our children in time out or tell them they can't have too much cake? Because it's for the best. I don't like telling my kids you can't have that other cookie, but it's for their health. And this is for your financial health in real estate to lower the price, get in front of it, because I really do believe we are going to be seeing a more balanced market from here on out. A lot of agents were talking, you know, maybe this is just the summer slump. Uh, it was hard to tell in the beginning. I don't think it was the summer slump. I do think it is now a correction of the market. So that also means you're gonna see higher days on market, right? So it might not be gone in a day or two days or five days or even 10 days. So you're gonna to have to start looking at new statistics on the average day on market, but looking six months ago or three months ago or even two months ago isn't going to be helpful. You're gonna to have to look at the past couple of weeks and then here on out because we need to be present day, not rear view mirror. And again, this is not 2007, 2008, 2009. We're not having robo signings. We just need to set your expectation that things can go a little slower right now because we are becoming more of a balanced market. And I gotta tell you, that is good that we are becoming a more balanced market. It's a little stressful in the moment because again, we have educated clients to think it was such a hot market and now we have to kind of back that up and say, hold on, it was a hot market and now this is what we're in. If you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, send me a message. I'm Shannon Milligan at RVA Home Team, brokered by eXp Realty. My phone number is 804-248-8207, and my email is shannon at rvahometeam.com. One more side note. Marketing will never be more important than in a shifting or down market. We're not in a down market, but I'm just saying, when it was a hot market, it was easy to hire your brother's kid who just got his license and had no experience because you could just sit it on the market and it was going to go, right? Marketing will never be more important than in a shifting or down market. And that's something we do really, really well here. I, I like to tell people that I'm a great agent and I'm a better marketer. Like I love marketing. So keep that in mind. You're going to need excellent market marketing in this shifting economy, a shifting real estate market, okay? So if you have questions about that, send me a message. If you're, put it in the comments or if you're too shy, you can send me a message and I'm happy to answer it for you. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we have some great properties available right now. So make sure you check out this Facebook page here. We just released a new video today, a little nod to Breaking Bad. Uh, and then we will see you all on Tuesday for some buyer education. Bye guys.